And the reason why is because when you do so much color, there's so much product that you're using, you know what I mean, powder and all that stuff, that it has to have something to stick to. And the blush and all that. So really this isn't to perfect your skin, it's to give myself kind of a palette to work on. If you're gonna use any sheens, don't use them in the crease. You wanna use matte because sheen reflects light. So you want it to receive your crease. I'm gonna do the darkest color, which is this purple, right in your crease. And I'd like to hollow it out, kind of fading it and blending it up to almost where the brown is. And I'm just using a really flat nylon brush. I'm putting it right up to the water line behind the bottom lashes. I'm actually gonna add the green in with the blue. So this is going just right in your lash line. And now I'm doing green as the liner on top. What's gonna make it last is um, to use pencils and then set them with powder. It helps it stay longer. And it makes the color more intense. You don't look like a fox, you look like a peacock. These are MAC sheen powders that are so beautiful. You have to be kind of careful with them because they're loose, so you have to put just the tiniest, all you need on the brush, or otherwise you get all the debris that falls down on your face. Do you know the old drag trick? If, you, if you're super messy, what you do to um, keep your face clean? You take colorless translucent powder, this is totally old school, and you put kind of a lot, right? You know, look up. You don't pat it in. You just lightly, lightly put it right, let it rest right there. Then if the eyeshadow falls, it stays on this loose powder, and then you just brush all of it away. So, smart. so this is just um, another shade of purple. I am a fan of using a few different shades of, of a light color. When you blend, it makes it look so much more interesting and it makes you look like a genius because people are like, how do they do that? And it's because you used a bunch of different colors. Now I'm gonna set it with blue powder. You can make it more, a little more interesting. Like this is yet another shade of purple and I'm just gonna go right in here. I'm not a big fan of the shimmer on the brow bone. It's a little too big to see for me. So this is just Studio Fix. It's just matte dual compact powder that I'm putting right on your brow bone. Um, now, Drag Queen Be Gone. See, just there he goes. Any debris or any mistakes, gone. Clean as a whistle. So I'm curling your lashes. Everyone should curl their lashes. I'm gonna stick with the green with the green. So the green lashes. The thing about uh, color, colored mascara, I'll show you a trick. So look, use this as the base, right? Mm -hmm. And then, You've put some shadow in there. And so now I've punched up the color with that shadow and it actually makes the mascara thicker. But then I come back in with a brush and I go right at the root with the black, because that's gonna make your eye pop. So right in, almost like um, line all the way into the root of the lash. And I'm going underneath. If I go above, it's gonna take away from the color. It's gonna hide the color. And then the same thing on the bottom, I'm gonna go right into the root with the black. I'm getting so into the base that it's kind of using it a little bit like liner. And I'm staying right in the center of your bottom lid. And I just sort of gauge your, your, pupil, your iris 
for that instead of going all the way out because I, I don't want it to um, become a look. It really is just to bring some depth and some attention to your eye. And then the blue. Mm. Oh, wow. So you really go for it, you know, as much as you can sort of get on the wand. And then you just sort of work it in. And then just a little bit, I would stay away from super, super duper bright flush. You know, smile. And I keep it right on the apples. And just the tiniest little bit. And I left your freckles. Then do you know what this is? Just water from Mac. It's got a little bit of silicone in it. Put that on there and then just sort of dust over it. And it settles the powder so that what? Your skin looks perfect because you have on makeup, but it doesn't look like makeup. It has skin texture. So the powder's sitting right on top of your face. It's nice for photographs too, but also in real life.